Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Plays. Welcome back to Tac Team Portugal, where, holy crap, Mr. Arumba, what have we done here to Great Britain? They, they look so sad now. Oh, well, basically the same thing that we've been doing to Aragon. Well, one thing that I noticed is we left him with about 70% of his land. We only took a little bit here in, in Great Britain, but we took every single one of his forts. He has no yeah. forts. Yeah, none. So, okay, this is crazy. We're on we're on 1.131, 1, right? The the hotfix to fix aggressive mm -hmm, expansion. Mm -hmm. Look what we just did to Aragon, and then what we just did to Great Britain. And yet, look at our aggressive expansion with France. 48. You can't coalition us. They can't even... There's no one that can even join a coalition yet, which is just kind of crazy. Yeah, we have just... Those two wars, and they were back-to-back. -back. What was that? Maybe five years between peace deals or less? They were back-to-back -back mm -hmm. wars, and... There's no coalition. Not even possible. Pretty crazy. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so our fleet can finally go back to protecting trade. We have very little money. We probably don't need full maintenance right now. Um, colonial maintenance is fine. Forts? We're spending 37 ducats a month on forts. We can turn those off. Um, we do have quite a bit of land to convert. Do you want to hire the Inquisitor for a bit to try to finish our cores as well? Inquisitor is the level 3 guy, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of expensive, but... I think it's worth it. You love level 3s, so... Well, the thing is, I love level 3s when I'm below 3 stability. Because they give you increased stability events. But once mm. you're at 3 stability, you don't need the level 3 anymore. Alright, shall we leave an army? I think we just leave this army over here. We get the whole fleet to go back and protect trade in Genoa. We drop off the... Don't mind me. I'm just marrying hungry. Okay. Uh, we're going to probably want to... How, how often do you think you're going to want to use the transports these days? Um, we... I, don't, I don't think I need them right now. What the... What just Excuse happened? Me? Bahmanis attacked us? Why did Bahmanis attack us? Because they're an idiot? Because they're like, you have Goa. I want Goa. <laughs> that is um, going to be the most idiotic war deck I've ever seen. All right. Who is his allies? Bengal and Delhi. So he's got some... Look at his... Look at Bengal and Delhi. Wow. Yeah. I mean, it's it's all of India basically saying, we want one province. He has 60,000 troops. Do you think he can take it? Oh, we don't even have a fort there. Well, well what do you think we do? Do you actually want to go invade Bamanis? Right now? No. But I don't think he's just going to accept a peace offer or anything. Let's right. just get a diplomat and see what happens. All right. I would prefer to be at peace for a bit. We've got a lot of, lot of stuff to chew on right now. I agree. Peace would be nice. If we just gave him that province. And Russia would have taken an alliance if we hadn't forgotten about it. Damn it. <laughs> we both forgot about it. Oh. And he's friendly. I think we can still make it work, though. We just got to peace out Bomanis. He won't let us. Like, it's the only thing that he wants. No, other can... than he wants us to, like, do other things. Like, release nations and stuff, which is ridiculous. He's ahead of us in tech. That's kind of sad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. He's got a two-siege general. He's going to siege that down. Uh, not even a fort. So, so are we actually going to ship troops over there? We could. We have to. We have to fight him. Yeah. Okay. I I don't think we need to send the the light ships though. Let's get some trade protection going. Okay. Yeah. I let's mean, make some bank. Let's make I mean, some how bank. much? How much navy did these guys actually have? I hate I that you can't check. see it in multiplayer. It's stupid. There should be a setting. So if Minus. you don't want to be able to see it. Forty-one. He's got seven heavies, thirteen lights. Okay, and then the other guy is... One of them is not coastal. I'm looking for Bengal. There he is. Bengal has six heavies. So total, they have 13 heavies and okay. 24 lights. So yeah, our, our heavy fleet alone can handle that. Yeah, just send the heavies because we got, we, got, uh, we got a bunch of new ports over there. So we can handle being close to India. Yeah, should be good. Wow, France has the Andaman Islands. Interesting. France is doing some good colonizing. We need to kill him soon. Well, his good colonizing will turn into our free provinces. I like that that idea, yeah. 
Just like what Eng England did. Like, England just basically did all this, like, logistics work for us. <laughs> you mean legwork? Logistics, legwork, same thing, yeah. Eight, nine, thirty. Oh, we can't do it. Right, I forgot. <laughs> what? S Russia? No, I was like, I was waiting to for the thirtieth so we could vassalize Norway. He was saying hey, yes. What? Hey, Shen, guess what just happened? Russia took our alliance, even yeah, though we're at war. Yeah, and guess who just joined the war defensively? <laughs> That's awesome. Go get him, Russia. But Russia's <laughs> Russia's fighting the Ottomans. So look at the size of Russia. <laughs> They're massive. <laughs> they are so so big. I mean, it's crazy. Ottomans are ahead of Russia in tech, though. I think the Ottomans are going to win that. It's only one level, and it's Russia. It is Russia. Russian winter, man. Yeah, but... Oh, my God. Holy crap. What did he do? He has claims on every single province in Crimea. Yeah. When you form the, when you form the Russian nation, you get that. No, he's got a mission. Subjugate the Crimea. Well, there you go. <laughs> not subjugate Crimea. Not subjugate the Crimean people. Subjugate the Crimea. Yeah, because Crimea is that region. It's just funny that it. <laughs> Except it Great. looks like it looks like the Crimea also includes the northern uh, Caucasus, which it shouldn't. All right, what's our next mission? Conquer Tlemcen. Yeah, you know we have not gone to war with Tunis in forever. We might want to do that soon. Yeah. Large revolts: six rebels in the Falkland Islands and six rebels in Mentawai. I don't know where Mentawai is. Let me type it in. Ment. You remember ages ago when we actually had a problem fighting off Tunis and they took our provinces? Uh, yes, I remember. Jerks. So the, both these rebels we're going to get are going to be in lands that are currently coring because we took them from Britain. Could you possibly send our transports to the Falkland Islands? I don't know where that is. Is that the one by South America? It is. Yes. Yes. Do you want them to go to both provinces or just the Falklands? Well, Falklands first. We're only sending 32 troops, even though we've got 47 transports. Why? I don't know, because there weren't any other ones available. I'll take your word for it. We've got troops available we can pick up down here that aren't. we're not colonizing down here. We have two more merchants now, by the way. Oh, really? For okay. reasons. Any idea? I'll, 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 do, I'll do that. You focus on transports. Do you really want these troops down here to help colonize just the tip, or can we pull them? Are you I focusing on I, the tip at all? I was not. Do, I did not put those troops there. You can use them. If you didn't put them there, who put them there? How'd they get down there, Shen? I imagine you did, Mister Rumba. Do you not remember? I, do you not no. recall? Is your memory fuzzy? Definitely it's fuzzy. How do we have too many relations? How did we get too many? Did you? Oh, because of the alliance Military with Russia. Access. Military, Military access. Military access to Denmark. Oh, we can get rid of that. Wow, those are some quick conversions. My goodness. Yeah, nine months. Even seven, faster, actually. Seven months on some of them. Yeah. That's amazingly quick. I think we should finish this next idea: diplotech cost reduction. Okay, Don't so worry, that, we're coming. There's the rebels. <laughs> Not in anywhere important, but there they are nonetheless. Oh God, the Portuguese particularists over in the middle of nowhere. I know. Why did they spawn in the islands we took from Britain? That doesn't make any sense. Because they live there. Yeah, but they they're not there forever. They're not Portuguese. No, they were Portuguese exiles. They were in hiding. And they've been there for forever. Oh, just got a mission to conquer Narbonne from France. I don't like these missions. Oh, did France peace out? He did. What was the peace deal? He took something in India. He had oh, a mission yeah. to take he, a province out there. He took one province. <laughs> okay. Oh, we can become a friend of the faith. You want to do that? For more expensive oh. techs? <laughs> Shen... Bahmanis is landing a primarily artillery stack in South America. I gotta see this. It's it's in the coast of the of Pernambuco. Oh, I like this. Can you kill that navy? 
Yeah, definitely. <laughs> I mean, the Navy's on the way. It's just like... That's half of his army, by the way. Awesome. I hope that he actually successfully lands it, because I don't want him to retreat. I would like to catch the Navy, but then still kill the, kill the army once it's landed. It's landed. Nine artillery. Wow. Unfortunately, the machine can't actually fight that. He's only got uh, 14 guys. And just the tip is too stupid to go do anything. <laughs> just the tip is too stupid? I think if we put our troops on... We can't catch that Navy. It's too fast. Put our troops on no-focus mode. See if they can get up there and fight them. I don't think they're going to fight them, though. Are you going to cancel that relationship with Denmark? Oh, I thought you were on it. I'll do it. I tried clicking on the too many diplomatic relations button, thinking that it would logically cycle through the relationships that you have. Hey, logic it, not allowed here, okay? It doesn't do that, just so you know. What it does is it apparently clicks on your last diplomatic relation and then just sits there every time you click it, no matter what. Oh, you dropped off our army there. Perfect. Yeah, the, the ships were too slow. We don't have a leader, and the heavies and the transports, they can't catch that. I thought we had a leader. He's protecting trade. Oh, okay. Because we need monies. He has nowhere to run, so he's just going to go squeesh. squeesh. Why, did he, why did he not move one province? Or I don't know. Because the game. Because reasons. Okay, well, that's half of the Bamanas army dead. He's still getting ticking war score, but still. <laughs> it's so silly. Are there more men that we can pick up somewhere? Yes, there are. There are four troops in South Africa. We'll grab them as well. Sounds like a plan. That's where the Bomanis Navy is. Well, I think it's on the way home to pick up more men or something. We could turn some of these forts off if you really want. Well, the ones in, the ones in homeland Portugal certainly don't need to be on. We have no revolt risk there. Well, unlike England, we don't just destroy all of our forts. We keep them on all the time. <laughs> I'll turn some off. No, don't do it. I'm going to do it. Go ahead, it's fine. You know, if you were using my keyboard shortcuts mod, which you're not because you're weird. Keyboard you shortcuts just, suck. You could click on the provinces and press the H key. Watch how wow. much faster I can do it than you. H, good for you. See how much faster I am than you, Shen? I think you should leave the ones on French border on. I think you're a dummy head. <laughs> I think that what we should do is get so filthy rich that we can build a fort in every single province and just pretend like it's patch 1.9 or 1.10. Is that a good idea? Yes. Of course it's a good idea. Why wouldn't it be a good idea? A grand idea. Wow, are these all of our cardinals? Holy crap. We have 180 papal points. Um, we have seven cardinals. Wow. We don't really need... You know what it is? All these conversions are giving us papal influence. Mm -hmm. Should we if go we for more the, mercantilism? Yeah, we should make the, pap the papacy like us better. We could get another 50% more papal influence generation if okay. they were at 200 opinion. Let's do that. And they are, are our ally. They mm -hmm. defended us in this war. I like that the Pope is at war with Bamanis. It's like, yeah, let's go to India. <laughs> it's don't it's laugh. Basically, it's, it's basically <laughs> the same thing as like in, in Crusader Kings 2 where they're like, it's it's the year 1000. Let's go on a crusade. Let's go on a crusade to uh, Jerusalem. And then like everyone in Europe is too busy fighting each other to do anything. So the only people that show up are like Irish miners. Yeah. And, and, like, they, and they win. Yeah, we got nothing else to do. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, and they sure. Win. <laughs> and then Ireland changes their name to Jerusalem. Yep. Totally historical. <laughs> it's great. Wow, look at how big Tabaristan is. How did that happen? Oh, he's allied to the Ottomans, that's why. You know what I could go for is some Tlemceni territory, Shen. Tlemceni territory, yeah. I could see that working out for us. Are they uh, they're allied with Ajran? We don't care about them. We should attack them. Yeah. So I guess we're bringing an army up here, huh? Uh, up here is where? Did we save the, the Falklands? 
we yeah, saved the that Falklands. Was, that was yes. ages ago. Um, would you rather I deal with the particularists first, or should I try to just mess with Bahmanas? They have a lot of forts in those three countries. Yeah, they do. Because remember, they were all separate countries. So they they all built all their individual forts. Oh, and they got, here's then they got the conquered. Bahmanas Navy with 11 stack. Oh, where's this? It's near... Uh, oh, I see it. I see it. Kill it. Oh, it's there. It's no, there. No, stop, no, moving, no, stop moving. Stop moving. Stop moving. You I can't. can't. Oh, I crap. Can't. No, this is a bug. This is a bug in the current game. I'm almost 100% positive. We have troops on our boats. They have troops on their boats. Even it's, if we're in the same zone, we won't fight. It's always been like that. It's not a bug. If both the, if both fleets are transporting troops, you cannot engage. That is stupid. It's the way it is. It's always been that it's, way. It's stupid. Well, we're going to detach the lights. <laughs> It is not. It's stupid, Shen. I don't like it. Well, we're married to Russia now. Why has it always been that way, Shen? I don't know. It's just the way it is. I, I when I first started playing this game, I was so frustrated with that because I, I just couldn't understand it. it. Just couldn't. Just didn't make any sense. And Twitch chat was always like, "No, nah, you're a dummy. It, that's just the way it is. Normal." Where the hell did that navy go? They vanished. Cape of Good Hope. No, I don't think they were oh, that. There look, they look, are. Look, oh, what the Why hell are they, they doing down there? <laughs> what was that? Why was he down what there? What the hell? Well, they don't they don't take that? attrition. They don't take attrition, that's why. And now we can't catch them. He did you even realize there's this little sea tile called the Cape of Storms? And it goes he, around, yeah. He went from the Marian Island to the Cape of Storms. I didn't know it was on both sides. I've seen the one over by uh Cape Town. I've seen that one, that tiny little one. But I've never noticed that it was on both sides, no. So he went out to Marion Island and then down there into a tile we cannot see, and then he came back to Cape of Good Hope. Wow. What a little sneaky bastard. We should have just our <laughs> ships they they're in the same sea zone. They fly they drive right by each other and they're like, Oh, you have transport, or you have troops, we do too. I guess I guess we won't shoot our cannons at you. Yeah, because hmm. cause you know the transports are the only ones that actually engage in naval combat. So those are the ones who have to decide whether or not they can fight. Now, obviously, if they're transporting troops, they don't want to fight. The heavies and the lights, no, nah, and the galleys and shit, no, nah, they don't want to fight. No way. Uh-oh. Nupe has independence desire. What? Nupe, did you westernize? Nupe. Nupe westernized. Oh, good boy, Nupe. Good. That means he won't be our protectorate next month, and then we can attack him. Mm-hmm. Even though all he, he's got reactionaries, again. <laughs> <laughs> You should not be able to finish your westernization if you have reactionaries. Th that should be uh -huh. that should be that should be a thing. If you know how now you can pause your westernization progress. Mm -hmm. What should happen is if you have rebels and they actually successfully siege something, that siege should pause your westernization. You should, you should have to kill them, uh, remove the siege, and then westernization can continue. Ooh, fifty-eight point two percent of our income comes from trade. That means that if we get that mission to get your to get it to 60%, we might be able to swing it. All right, let's try to... Oh, we have a mission to protect against the Ottomans. They have 101 troops. We've got 97. All right, that's an easy mission. Yes, please. So let's build four soldiers in... I guess I'll put them in South Africa so you can use them. So how about them particularists, eh? Yeah, they did yet. Or are you no. following Bamanis? I was gonna I was thinking about following him, but decided against it. Ugh. You don't have like range you sound out disgusted. here. I am I am. I am disgusted by this naval situation. Are you saving that papal influence in case we need free stability? Um no. I, mean, I don't it's even not know a bad why idea. Now that you can go up to 200, it's not a bad idea. Just to stockpile it. And only well, take on the mercantilism when we need it. Well, the Pope is super happy with us. That's Scandinavia nice. is friendly. Even though we allied Russia, Scandinavia is friendly. Interesting. I guess we'll keep him on good terms. The Emperor is still Saxony. Everyone's voting for him. He's got no imperial authority, though. None. Not even a smidgen. Poor guy. I'm gonna turn off some of this information here. It's my my over, my outliner is getting too big. Yeah, too that happens stuff. to me in in the late game when you have too many armies. Sometimes you end up with like twenty different armies, and mm -hmm. 
it takes up the entire outliner. We haven't really been doing nearly as much colonization. Well, because our economy was strained for a while. But now that it's fine, we can go back to doing it, yeah. So let me do that. Almost taking care of particularists. What do you mean almost? We're about to land and take care of particularists. Okay, well that's better than almost. Yes. <laughs> I agree. What? Why is that funny, Shane? Uh, it's just funny. Yeah, your face is funny. We've completely sealed off the Inca, or Inca. So where, where have you been colonizing? Uh, we've been doing the coastline of South America, and also the coastline along the Inca lands, and now I'm working on the coastline up towards California. Okay. Well, don't sound too disgusted. Bahamut is... <laughs> what? The, the ships that they, they hid with, look, yeah. their, their troops are in Canada. What? They made it all the way to Canada. Wow. What the hell? Naval invasion is like, the AI is just like, we're going after Goa. It's our next door neighbor. Okay, what's the farthest province away from us outside of Goa that we can actually go for? Canada. Let's, Let's do it. Canada. Let's do it. We can do it. So this is something I don't understand. Blackjack and Hookers is not even sending troops up to help. They could easily crush that stack if they would merge together, but they're not doing it. Yep. Why aren't, just, they, why aren't they doing it, Arumba? They're evil. Oh, I get it now. They are evil. No, I understand. Don't explain further. Yep, they just, they have liberty desire or something. I don't know. Hey, Portuguese particularists, that one could be big. Could it? Yeah, there's a lot of... Uh, it could be, what, six provinces? One, two, three, four, five, seven provinces. Not that big. But it's going to be all the islands, Shen. I know. But what can we do about it? We could get an advisor for lower Finish. revolt risk. There's none have... available. No. We could try we... cycling. I'm going to try cycling for one. Do you want to spend 200 military points to harsh treatment it? Oh, yeah, we could. I, I wouldn't like to, but we could. I mean, it's at 80. Yeah, it's all those lands we just took from Britain. Stupid oh, islands. Well. we'll just have to ignore it. So, um, are you ready to take a short break here, then? I think we should, yes. Also, Korea was just full and hexed by Japan and Jiangsu. Goodbye, Korea. <laughs> all right. And goodbye, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow. Same tag time, same tag channel. Yep, see you soon.